So now let's see how we can rotate shapes inside of Tinkercad. And in order to work around with rotation, first of all, I'm going to bring in this box shape inside my work area. And if I were to go in right here, I'm going to press F on my keyboard to focus on it. You can see that there's this rotation icons. If I were to click on this and if I were to click and drag, you can see that I can rotate this around. And as I rotate around, you can see that there's this angle right here. So if I were to click on this angle, I can press like the degrees. I can type in the degree that I want and press enter. And you can see that that is applied. So if I were to go over here and then if I were to click on the rotation right here and then drag out, you can see that it snaps out into place right here. If I were to actually go around onto the inner wheel right here, there's outer wheel and the inner wheel. So if I were to go onto the inner wheel, it snaps onto uh, these angles right here. But if I were to go onto the outer wheel, you can see that I can eyeball it to an exact degree, just like this. I can also hold shift, and once I hold shift, it snaps onto a 45 degree angle each time I actually rotate this around. And that's the same case for this one as well. So you can rotate around with the inner circle right here, click and drag it out, and you can go on to the top and click and drag it out right here. Hold shift and then click and drag this out and there you go, you got the 45 uh, degree angle right there as well. And that is how you can rotate shapes inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.